welcome back to another week we are now officially four and a half weeks out which is insane um in my last video i gave you a bit of an update saying i was starting to macro track a little bit and so today i'm going to take you through straight away a recipe um this is not mine it's um from fit fit vegan chef if you don't follow her she is fantastic for vegans um and to be honest she's such an inspiration and i get a lot of my ideas from her so I'm doing her lupini seitan um, today. I'll just take you through it. And um, I've got some, I'll show you the ingredients. I'll show you the ingredients. Um, all it takes is some vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast, liquid aminos, liquid smoke, some lupini beans, um, water, and then I've just changed up the seasonings to some paprika and cayenne pepper because I like a bit of a kick, but you can add whatever seasoning you want. Um, super simple recipe. I'm just going to blend it pretty much all in and then whack it in the oven. So check it out. Right guys, so once you've got your um, like seitan dough, it's really important to weigh it. Um, so I just put it to a clean bowl, so mine's 1406, and now I need to divide that by um, 12, because I've done enough for 12 servings. So where's my calculator? And then you know how many grams to weigh out. So 1406 divided by 12, so my, each of mine needs to be 117 grams. Um, and I've got my baking trays ready here as well. So I'm just going to get a little plate. I'm just going to get some non-stick spray as well. I've just got some non-stick like um, coconut spray just to spray on the tray there as well. Um, so how we're going to do this is as so. So I need 117 per serving. So I'm just going to take a handful and do it in a little ball and then just see where it's at. 135. So this can be quite time consuming but it just ensures you get the right servings. One, two, two. One, one, seven. Perfect. So then you put it into a little ball like that. Um, there's a little seitan ball. If it focuses. No. It's not want to focus, but then we put it onto our non-stick tray. And as you can see, we'll just start to, oh, my camera skills are shocking, put them on like that. And there we have it, all 12 going in the oven. oven and look how fantastic it looks it smells so good so i'm looking forward to having that later but at the moment i am on the way to the gym to train shoulders just focus hey guys so i am back from the gym i am just about to have my lunch i've got my lupini seitan here i've got some lettuce and some a pepper so i am going to have that so i'm just gonna have salad and one serving of the lupini seitan and another serving later what's up guys and welcome back to another day in the life um i am just eating eating i'm not eating cooking my breakfast i say cooking it's just porridge but there we go as we can tell mental clarity is just not where it used to be at the moment but that has been said today's check-in day feeling quite lean um got my posing class so that's why i'm in my bikini but yeah i'm feeling obviously 
I say this every week, but because it's true, but it's the leanest I've felt and it will be the leanest that obviously I feel the closer I get to show day. But we are four and a half weeks out. Um, I'll probably cut my um, check-in photos in the thumbnail anyway, so you can see. But yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Um, last few days have been really, really tough. Really tough. Um, and yeah, yesterday I tried, well, I was in the office yesterday and I tried to find a mug my cup of tea i'm gonna find one so i started crying so i don't want to use a paper cup like who even does that this is where we're at at the moment um i just think body fat levels are quite low now that this starts happening but yeah definitely on track got a way to go yet um so yeah just keep pushing through but anyway i'm having some oats my cinnamon oats um blueberries and almond butter for breakfast um i'm checking in with coach today so I haven't actually officially moved to a um, flexible dieting plan, but I've just taken the macros and done it for my own sanity because, you know. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I um, will take you through a day of eating if you want. Um, I'm asking you if you want, you won't get a choice when this video comes out. Um, so I will show you what I'm eating today. Um, I also, um, want to make some macro friendly brownies considering on my training days I have a bit more carbohydrates to play with and they're super macro friendly, um, only they've got like 10 grams of protein and like 5 grams of fat. Um, sorry, of carbs and like two grams of fat, if that. So yeah, really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying those as well. We're making them and then trying them. Anyway, I'm not making any sense. This is like my life at the moment. So I am going to cut this here and I'll show you what I'm eating. Right guys, so I've just had my breakfast and now I'm trying to prep my bag ready to go. So I need my posing shoes and all that sort of stuff. But just so you can see my meals, because I've now pledged to do a full day of eating. I've got um, a serving of my lupini bean seitan that I made the other day and some lettuce. So I'm going to take that with me as my next meal. I've got some um, skinny food company zero calorie sweet chili sauce. And then I've got another serving of, so I'm going to go straight from posing get in the, well, po I'm gonna go from here, posing practice, then pose. Then after my posing session, I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm gonna go straight to the gym. So I've got another serving here. So I'm gonna eat that after the gym, um, is my plan. And then I've got a protein shake that I need to have at some point as well. Again, possibly post gym. Um, and that's it for now. Number 116, Natalie Miller. guys so i am fulfilling my promise to do a full day of eating um i'm on so i went to posing i got some footage of um posing so i put that up i went straight to the gym from the, well after posing i had my seitan and i was meant to have one bit of seitan and lettuce and then save a seitan afterwards with my protein shake and not eating it all just because i was quite emotional during posing um emotions are just running high this week i was really low energy so i thought you know what stuff i'm gonna eat it all and get energy for the gym so i ate all that and now i'm on to my next meal which is um kale 165 grams of uh tofu and 100 grams of sweet potato and i just topped it with some the skinny food company uh, sweet chili sauce and i've got a glass of orange squash i love orange squash um with no added sugar like no calories just adds flavor to uh, my fluids so i'm going to eat this then i'm going to jump back on the camera 
and explain a few things that arrived in the post. So guys, look what I got today. I got some mini Pro Nut butters. Look how cute are these? So I've got um, a carrot cake flavour, an apple crumble flavour, a banana flavour and a cherry bake well flavour and they are just the cutest and the macros are really good as well i wrote down the macros i've got the ingredients here i will show you um that is for they can find it on their instagram as well so for 30 gram serving you got about 140 calories 10 grams of fat five grams of carbs and nine grams of protein and then you've got carrot cake banana brazil butter and cherry bake well, almond butter so i cannot wait to try these tomorrow um i'm just gonna i think tomorrow i put into my fitness pal the carrot cake um so i'm gonna have a 30 gram serving of that look it's got like some raisins and um walnuts and stuff in there just fab can't wait what's up guys how you doing it is friday um 22 7 um as always i'm not going to say which week it is i think it's week 11 i don't know but anyway i'm just having my black coffee um and i thought I'd give you an update on my plan for this week because it came through late last night so i didn't get a chance to talk about it last night um, and at the same time I need to do a bit of work but um, yes yeah, so it's been a bit of a weird one because as I said and alluded to in a lot of my other videos um, I have been wanting to move away from a meal plan um, and do a bit more flexible dieting so I said that to my coach and they said that I could um, this week macro track um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday so t today I don't know if I said it was Friday but it's Thursday Thursday so today, Thursday tomorrow friday and the day after saturday just in case you don't know what day how days work um and so that's good and then i have to check in again on sunday and then i should go back to meal plan sunday monday tuesday wednesday so at least it's better than nothing but to be honest i have to admit i've been macro tracking this whole time um since i said that so since saturday i've been macro tracking so i did saturday sunday monday tuesday yesterday macro tracking um and i was macro tracking on a lot higher than what put me on now so that's like good and bad because good because it was working like the weight was dropping off um and bad because and i was micro tracking anyway and bad because now i've got less days micro tracking and even less calories um so i was i basically took everything from the plan and put it into my fitness pal and then just calculated from there what the macros were but he's put me on less than what the plan was so i'm now on around 1500 calories 200 protein 110 carbs and 32 fat which is a lot lower than what i was putting myself on <laughs> i was doing and what's on my plan to be honest i was 100 1800 around 45 fat 140 carbs and 200 protein so i'm kind of now in two minds i'm like so if i stick to the plan i actually get more food and more calories and therefore better if i don't stick to the plan and macro track i get less so i'm kind of like so what's the difference if i just take the calories from but don't stick to the plan but take the calories from that so anyway but anyway i've just decided i've gone off i've gone rogue enough already the last week doing what i wasn't meant to do um so i'm just going to stick with it because like although it makes sense in my head perhaps i'm not thinking straight and perhaps i just don't know what i'm doing um although but whatever so i'm doing that um that's what the plan is so i will do i actually failed last night i didn't show you my dinner <laughs> so, hence the full day of eating didn't go down very well um but i will show you what i'm eating today um i'm actually going to be so i put it all into my fitness power last night um i'm actually going to be doing a lot of recipes from um fit vegan chef if you haven't followed her she's really really good and i use quite a lot of her recipes because she's vegan and she's a competitor and she does really creative stuff that are just super easy to make so like the um lupini seitan that i showed you before um i'll be eating that pretty much um because i've really really been enjoying that 
and I'm going to be doing her pancakes, which are really macro friendly. Um, and uh, she's got some macro friendly brownies as well. So I'm going to make the most of these days just to have like really nice food. Um, so it's not tofu. Like, I love tofu, but every single day since June has been a bit too much. Um, so I just want some variety. So um, I've also managed to include. Hey. I think she's seen a cat. Um, I've also managed to include the nut butters that I showed you yesterday, the pro nuts, which is really, really exciting. So I'm going to be having some of those on uh, rice cakes. Um, and if Lola keeps barking, I'm going to have to stop this because when I come to edit it, she can hear the barking and starts barking. And then it's just this house never stops barking. Um, so I will show you. Yeah, I'll leave it here then, take her for a walk, and I'll show you what I'm having. I'll do a full day of eating today. What's up guys? So I'm just taking Lola out for a walk and it is a lovely day. It's been so lovely this week. Um, it's only half seven, but it's just like nice and fresh. Like you can, it's got that summer air smell because it was like hit 19 degrees yesterday, like unreal for February. Um, so yeah, amazing. Just makes me so excited for summer now and all the dog walks I'm gonna get with Lola. Um, and yeah, just checking she's still with me. She's coming up somewhere, there she is. Ooh. Um, so yeah, just so I'll check in. Um, feeling in good mood, which is a positive change from last week. I was in a stinking mood every day, but yeah, I think coming out and clearing my head, nice walk in the morning, I think it just does wonders. I try and switch off from everything, like, I try and catch up with emails and stuff like that as well, but I sometimes just try and clear my head and just enjoy the walk. Hi guys and welcome back after the weekend. It is Monday and it's in the afternoon. I'm just about to eat my next meal, um, tofu, and then I've got some courgette and some boodles, which is butternut squash noodles. Never heard of boodles before, um, but this is now my new favorite thing. I think I said in the video um, a little while ago, my veg choices change and I've noticed that like, well I've always kind of noticed I had, I've had a few like digestion problems with kale. Um, so I'm just now really starting to think about like what veg I can use that is the best for like my digestion and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try some courgette and some boodles, um, butternut squash and see if that makes a difference. I've just meal prep some tofu for the week as well. I've also got a spot here that you can see nicely in the light, which is not very attractive. Um, but yeah, so um, I think I updated you that last week that training had decreased. I can't remember like where I got to in terms of updating you on my plan, but I had a really chilled weekend. Um, didn't have glutes on Saturday, just had fasted cardio, just had fasted cardio yesterday. And then today I had fasted cardio shoulders. Um, and so it was nice and chilled. So I'm looking forward to seeing, tomorrow I've just got cardio as well. So I'm just looking forward to seeing what this week brings as we get into crunch time um, over the next few weeks. I am definitely not on track, apparently, my coach says, which was kind of a bit of a hard blow to hear. Um, he says we're really gonna have to grind over the next few weeks. So my confidence just been shook up a little bit. Um, but you know what, there's nothing I can do now. I can't change anything, I can't like, all I can do is just try to do what I'm told to do, which is what I've been doing the whole way through, and just really get my head down and crack on. So it's gonna be a tough next three weeks, I think, as we go up into the competition. And yeah, not great to hear that we're not on track, but you know what? I'm not gonna get upset about it. That's just how it is. So let's just see if we can get on track and push through. So I'll update you in the next progress video. Um, until then, have a great day.